Hey folks, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are back to boondocking only 15 miles outside of Mesa Verde National Park. So come along with us today on this episode. Stay tuned. So we are camping along Madden Peak Road in the San Juan National Forest, camping for free. It's a wonderful spot. We have nice altitude for cool temperatures and beautiful views and sunsets. Let me bring you along and show you a little bit about camp before we head off to Mesa Verde. As always, I'll link to our campsite in the video description below. This is a wonderful free spot with easy access to Mesa Verde as well as Durango and Cortez and all of the traveler amenities that those two Colorado cities offer. There are numerous spots along Madden Peak Road and its spurs for virtually any size rig. The road is well graded, and in fact it's being regraded by the Forest Service during our visit. So we're about equidistant between Durango, Colorado and Cortez, Colorado, each one about 20 miles in each direction. We're also about 15 miles from Mesa Verde National Park, one of my favorite national parks. Let's go check out the cliff dwellings of the ancient Puebloan people in Mesa Verde. You pick up $5 tickets for your chosen cliff dwelling tour at the visitor center when you first enter Mesa Verde. From there, it's about a 20 mile drive to the ruins, but it's a scenic drive with many opportunities to pull off the road and take in the sweeping vistas of southwestern Colorado that are worthy unto themselves. So I'm here at the meeting point for the beginning of the tour for the Cliff House. Uh, last time I was here, uh, almost a year ago today, uh, did the tour of Balcony House, which is by far the most adventurous of the tours into the cliff dwellings here in Mesa Verde National Park. Uh, you actually, there's there some serious ladders involved in Balcony House. Uh, there's also a small 12 foot long tunnel that you need to crawl through. It's it's quite the adventure, but this time I figured I'd do something different. Uh, so supposedly the next best tour is Cliff House. So uh, let's go check it out. Now right now there's a thunderstorm bubbling overhead. I'm hoping it holds off until we get back from this one hour tour. Thank you. 
Pass is the largest cliff dwelling in North America, built by the ancestral Puebloans in their former homeland. Construction and refurbishing of Cliff Palace took place continuously from the years 1190 through 1260 AD, although the major portion of the building was done during a 20-year time span. Abandoned by 1300, presumably due to severe droughts, Cliff Palace was rediscovered in 1888 by two ranchers out looking for lost cattle. There were 23 kivas and 150 rooms that supported a population of around 100 people. With one particularly large kiva, it is thought the Cliff Palace was a social and administrative site of high ceremonial importance. So that was fascinating. I almost enjoyed that more than I did Balcony House last year. Whew, forgive me, I'm a little out of breath from climbing out. I can't emphasize strongly enough, take a tour when you're at Mesa Verde. Otherwise, you're just looking at these cliff dwellings from the rim, from a distance, and you gain some amazing perspective. Listen to the rangers' comments throughout the entire tour. One of my favorite national parks. Now, like I said, we're only about 20 miles from Durango. With a population of nearly 17,000, Durango is the largest community in Colorado's La Plata County and home to Fort Lewis College. Main Avenue is a nationally registered historic district that cuts through downtown Durango and is home to galleries, boutiques, restaurants, and bars. With its combination of historic architecture, entertainment, and shopping, Main Avenue has historically comprised the center of Durango and is a popular year-round tourist destination. The notable and historic Strader Hotel lies at the south end of the avenue near the southern depot for the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, a heritage railway known worldwide for its scenic daily runs to the historic mining town of Silverton via steam-powered trains.
So we hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us today to Mesa Verde. Next episode, we'll be traveling up Colorado's famed Million Dollar Highway. So if you're not yet one of our grand adventurers, please hit that subscribe button. It's the little red one right down there in the corner of your screen. Ring that notification bell so you get instant notification of each new episode of Grand Adventure. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. And as always, we'd love to receive your questions and feedback in the comment section below this video. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.